always be prepared for you know defending itself you know and its citizen we are here in hyderabad at the adani uh, facility defense facility where uh, we are showcasing the drishti 10 Uh, unmanned uh, aerial vehicles which have been inducted by uh, the indian navy here the navy chief today unveiled this platform uh, which has uh, four of these platforms uh, have been uh, ordered by the uh, indian navy uh, uh, and the army with uh, both getting two each of them now these drones can fly for 36 hours at a stretch and have an endurance of around 2000 kilometers in one go and uh, the navy and the army feel that these drones can help them uh, uh, keep an eye over a large uh, area like that of the arabian sea where they have been seeing a lot of uh, increase in piracy attacks uh, and drone attacks on uh, merchant ships in recent times this is ajit dube with camera person ajit singh uh, uh, in hyderabad for an started uh, conceptualize the entire platform with our partners at elbit um this really company we transfer the technology and um, what you see here this uh, entire platform is more than uh, 80% 70 80% indigenized which means everything is manufactured in this facility that you see over here along with our vendor ecosystem that we've developed over the last 12 months uh in terms of its abilities um you know this is obviously as you know it's a medium altitude low endurance machine so it's meant for 1000 1000 mile sort of operational range and um as you may have heard the chief of naval staff talk about it earlier today what this is primarily going to augment is their uh, um you know is their anti piracy and uh, you, you know sea bond missions and um, right now it's not well, what you're seeing it's you know it has hard points where you can load uh, payload weapons as well so there's two hard points and one under uh, um, under bay as well which can take uh, sort of your large uh, unguided bombs but um, you know that's sort of you can't see it fitted right and, now uh, yeah. how big uh, would defense be for adani's future plans it's obviously uh, more than big i would say it's very very strategic because we see that you know in terms of being uh, in our ability to serve the nation this is one of the most critical things so you know what we say that um you know we are doing energy so energy we are helping you know sort of elevate and uh, give access to the you know most underserved population to energy um with same thing with ports and logistics being able to allow movement of people and goods across the country at a cost which is you know world standard and that's sort of how this is also quite strategic for us is that how india can become independent on in its security uh, infrastructure where you know it is truly is not dependent on any foreign countries for being able to manufacture and arm itself and always be prepared for you know defending itself you know and its citizens how they would help us is they are uh, satcom enabled which will ensure that we can operate them over longer ranges so it will improve the uh, surveillance capabilities of the indian army and uh, how is it uh, how is it an advancement over what you had earlier sir what we had earlier uh, there are two things one is it is indigenized almost 70% uh, plus is indigenized and secondly they are satcom enabled which increases the range tremendously 
Uh, and uh, are you looking to place orders for more, sir? Uh, that I think subsequently. Stay with the Times of India for news breaks, analysis, interviews and events. We bring you stories from your neighbourhood and from across the globe as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos.